Hey guys, welcome back to Tamiya Legends and once again thank you for stopping by. So it's another Tamiya Tuesday and I think this is very special because this ticks every box about what this Tamiya Tuesday section is supposed to be about. Um, it's sort of custom members builds as it were and um, as I say this thing is rather special. So before we get into it a massive shout out to Lee for sending me all this information. Lee has been a massive help to me and this channel. Um, Lee's a, an out and out racer. Um, he's raced for many years and still races now and he knows his stuff. He really does. Um, so as I say he's helped me out no end and um, it's a little bit of a pleasure putting this particular car on the channel because as you're about to see this is pretty different. So um, as the thumbnail su suggests, it's a TRF703. What's that? I hear you ask. Well, all will be revealed now. Okay, let's get into this. TRF703. So this is the basic description of the car. It has a TRF201 front end and a TRF502X rear end on a custom alloy chassis. So add the 201 and the 502 together and it becomes a TRF703. <laughs> Love that. Lee bought the chassis off an Opel member over 10 years ago. He was just looking at the Tamiya cars for sale at the time when he came across this being sold as a conversion chassis set. Lee believes the chap he bought it from worked for McLaren, but he can't be 100% sure on that. He said he had made it himself and from looking at the materials used he can well believe he did. The design of the car moves the weight forward making the car a very good high grip track car. On AstroTurf the car is phenomenally quick, Lee finds it very easy to drive and on the long, longer tracks he uses a brushless 6.5 speed passion motor with a Sky RC Toro 120 amp speed controller. The car is also very good on dry grass and indoors on carpet. Lee did however say the car is an absolute handful to drive on a wet track and is definitely not fun. The car is heavy compared to most two wheel drive cars. The weight just adds to the fantastic amount of traction and makes it a dream to drive. Lee has raced a lot and, is by, and this is by far his favourite two wheel drive TRF car he has owned. He had the first release of the TRF201 and he has also had the TRF201 XMW so he has been in a great position to compare the 703 to the other cars. The car runs a short elite and has the motor on the left using the TRF502X motor mount parts reversed. Everything rearwards of the mounts is 100% 502X. There's a lot of weight added using the block under the centre shaft. The front uses all TRF201 parts with the kick up from custom made parts. The top deck and mount, and mount parts are all custom design. Lee's car is 100% unique but Cobra Racing products run by Ken Reef in the UK can make a very similar chassis giving the same dimensions as Lee's car but the chassis is a different alloy and slightly thinner. It has a kick up on the chassis and there is no forward top forward top deck. Um, I will put the link to Cobra's Facebook page in the description. The body Lee uses is from Rude Bits RC products. Again, I'll put that link in the description. Lee also went on to say um, that if anyone wants any information or set up um, any information at all, I'll put Lee's um, email in the description too. So what do you think to that? That's pretty epic, isn't it? Um, yeah, I mean, I didn't even know you could do stuff like that, to be honest. That's next level stuff for me. Um, what I do like about it, more than anything else, it's a cool project to do anyway. But the fact that Lee races, you know, as, as I say, he knows his stuff. He's had this car up against everything, you know. And um, as he said in his own words, it's the best two-wheel drive TRF car he's, he's had. And it's pretty cool. I just, I, I love how it, I just love how it's gone together. So, as I said, in the description, should you want, um, I'll put a link to Cobra's Facebook page for the chassis, or a style of that chassis. 
Um, I'll also put a link to Rude Bits RC products again for the body shell and things so you can check them out. And I'll also put Lee's um, email in the description as well and he's always happy to help with any extra information or setup tips or anything like that. So guys, once again, I really hope you enjoyed that. Um, thanks so much for watching, it's massively appreciated. If you are new to this channel, if you could please consider liking and subscribing to support us. And if you do that, smash that notification bell because it makes absolutely no difference whatsoever. But I'm just so used to saying it. Happy assing.